What was your feature than Celtic's first two competitive games of the season? How do you feel they've gone so far? Yeah, obviously it was important that we got through these two games. Um, all the games at this stage of the season are tough and our ultimate goal was to get through these four qualifiers and get back into the Champions League um, and we've got another tough test tomorrow. You've obviously had your chance to play, is it just a case of making sure you, you shine and take your chance? Yeah, um, as goes with everyone really, there's competition for this, for places at this club but all over the pitch and um, when you do get that chance it's important you take it and hopefully there's more to come. What do you make of the competition that you've got in those wide areas? Yeah, it's tough. Um, there's really, like as I say, there's quality all over the pitch here and that's only good for the club. Um, we've got players that can play in a variety of positions as well and it, it's healthy for the group. How important was it last year for you to go and get all those games you did? Yeah, I think I needed to get games, obviously. I started off last year okay and then I picked up an injury and I needed to get games in my leg and to be fair, the, the opportunity came up to go down south and get games under my belt and come back and... Um, I enjoyed my time down there and hopefully it's given me a springboard for, for more action up here this year. Is it important as well to go to a league that's probably a bit more competitive than the Scottish Championship going into just League One in order to help you make that, that bridge to, to come and play? Yeah, I think the most important thing wherever I was going was playing. Um, and obviously I got the chance to play with a big club down there. Um, and as I say, it was the only positive things I took away from it. And um, I'm hoping to use that to, to really kick on here now. Do you feel more... Yeah, I felt good last year as well. Obviously, um, things didn't go the way I wanted them to, and I think, as I say, I've touched on. I needed to go away and get games, and um, I've done that. And now I really am looking forward to this season. Hopefully, I can be a bigger part of things here. You've ruled out going out again. And this year, you feel you're here for the season. Yeah, that's obviously everyone's aim is is to play a part of this club. It's it's massive, and I want to play my part. Um, the manager's given me the chance in the first couple of games and hopefully I can keep repaying the faith on him. What sort of things has he said to you so far in terms of what just to be, this season? Yeah, just to be myself. Um, he's been clear on what he wants from me um, and it's about bringing a different dimension to the team, obviously. But, as I say, there's competition in the wide areas and everyone needs to be playing well to keep each other on their toes. Has he made it clear that you'll be here for the season and there won't be an No, well, at the moment, it's you just take every day as it comes. He's, as I say, it's, I'm really grateful that he gave me the he's given me, I've come back and he's given me the chance to play. And um, You can never take anything for granted in football. You've always got to, to be at your best, and that's what I'm aiming to do at the moment. So much at stake this season, though. You'll be desperate to stay and play a part, and you'll have a chance to sort of... Right, you're sort of yeah, no, desperate to, to stay and, and, and really kick on again, as I said. Um, I want to, to improve week on week and hopefully I can force myself into the starting level and stay there. Yeah. Um, you go. I was going to say, Lewis, obviously 12 months ago, 10 Championship, now at Celtic Park and Champions League qualifiers. How does it feel for you, the journey you've had over the last 12 months? Yeah, um, obviously there's I've had ups and downs, um, obviously with the injuries and stuff, but to be, to be here and playing is a privilege and uh, I don't take that for granted and I'm working hard every day and improving and I'm making sure that I can be a regular feature. How do you feel that you, how did you deal with having to you know, walk into a stage like that in front of far more spectators and far more pressure than maybe you're used to so far? Yeah, no, I've, to be fair, all throughout my career I've, I've had pressure and I've played at big stadiums as, as well and that set me up obviously and I've, I've had that experience of playing and there's no crowd like the, the one we get at Celtic Park and um, I think you can be as prepared as, as you want but when the when the atmosphere is as good as it can be then um, any player would, would be taken aback and it's something that I'm, I'm hoping to sample more of. How did the experience play at Sunday compare? I mean obviously we've been down a lot in terms of down in League One now but it's still a huge club, big support, big demands there. How, how did that sort of get it? Yeah, it's, it's a massive club down there. Um, similar in demands and, and that the fans want to win every game, especially being in the league that we were in. Um, obviously it didn't go the way we wanted in the end, but it, it was similar demands on us and that, that pressure to win every single week and hopefully that's something that's geared me up to, to hopefully be able to um, cope with everything this year. The manager's talked about bringing in a more attacking, direct style. Is that something you feel can help your game this season? Yeah, um, obviously my game is about being very direct and I think the manager will be able to get the best out of me um, and hopefully, as I say, that I can I can repay that and that faith he's had in me so far. What do you make of the test you face over the next two legs against Nomi Calgary? Yeah, obviously it's a team that I'm sure not many of us know much about. The backroom staff here have been putting in 
all hours to, to make sure they've compiled enough analysis that, that we can look over and we'll be well prepared. Um, as I say, every game at this stage of the season is tough, so we're not taking anything for granted and um, it'll be one game at a time. I know people always say that, but um, we've got these, this game tomorrow to look forward to at the moment and that's what our focus is on. How was it not promotion Yeah, of course. That was um, obviously one of the downsides down there, um, not to get the achieve our ultimate goal in the end. Um, but as I say, it's something you, you can build character from and um, just look to try and make sure that's not a feature anymore. What was that day at Wembley like, you know, being there, seeing the, the scenes and not ultimately getting what you were going for? Yeah, it was a good experience. Um, I played there a couple of times when I was down. Um, as I say, obviously it was a bit bittersweet because we didn't get the results we wanted in either of the games, but um, it was certainly an experience that I can draw from. The manager spoke about enjoying the verb and the pace in the side, something that you contribute there. What if he's tactics? He likes to do is swap the winger from yeah. left to right. Do you have a preference as to which side, or do you enjoy the, the variety? No, I, obviously I've played most of my football at left wing, um, but especially at a club like this, I don't care where I'm playing really. Um, I like playing off either side, so that's something that hopefully that being able to play in those and being adaptable to play in any of the position behind the front striker will, will hopefully give me um, more chances to play. You mentioned the, some of the input that you're getting behind the scenes about find out about Calju. What sort of things do the do you go over in the preparation for games like this? Um, the the guys that compile all the the information for us are extensive and they're researching the um, they cover everything um, anything we need to know we can ask about them. Um, and we will be we'll be well prepared for the game and, and we're not taking anything for granted.